cup. It seems you had a nightmare. There was this fire and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually I give in. We've done this so many times I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and 
and then they get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired. Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. You're bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Do we really have to do this whole bit again? Fine. This is dragging on for way too long, and it's past my office out. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie? The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um, yeah. Millie and the Paper City Orchestra. They thought they could practice here in the woods behind the house since their venue burned down. Well, they can't. What the hell were they thinking? Besides, how did an entire orchestra escape through a maintenance tunnel? Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel. The one that leads to Flint's room. And she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. 
He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. My brother? No. Well, yeah, but something else, too. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. There we go. Now I just need a lens. Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never know. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This is my magnifier, with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. It's so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. locked. There's some chain thingies inside. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. This hole leads to Flint's room. 
It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? 10-7's the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. We'll have to find another way. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lops here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse. Trying to corner this bird. No one heard from them since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved Miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figured I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now. Don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So... What kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. Been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level, but we all know better. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fella? He made any enemies lately? 
filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Dietz is a straight-up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz is all. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. You know anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side rust. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up, fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me, is all. Ted and Amber move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. There should be an old file here somewhere. 
nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember that CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Hey, I got it working. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard work, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement. The 
fires and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this, the last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? No. I just got an official letter from the studio executives. They've pushed back the deadline. I just wanted to inform him he's not getting drawn or animated for this episode. Oh, it's a tragedy when that happens. Those corporate suits. They're always standing in the way of true creativity. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG? Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. 
Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing, or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city, wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. I'll just sell this sword, buy some revives for later. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole.
there. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the Red Man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Oh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Million. Yeah, you're right. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, how have you been lately? No, Ted, it's Millie. Damn it. Why would somebody do this? She was just a sweet old woman. She hasn't done nothing wrong to anyone. Poor Millie. I've had her since I was five, almost as long as... Me, yeah, I know. Doll, what do you think we should do now? I honestly don't know. Ted, I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please. Don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Again? What do you mean? What? I, I don't know. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. Poor Millie. This is our fault, you know? We told Rusty we'd keep an eye out, and now she's dead. We've let her down. Hey, this is not your fault. That red freak did this. Believe me when I say this, doll. You can't save everyone all the time. People die. That's just how the dice roll. All you can do at times like these is keep your head up. Think of the fond memories you have of her. And just keep going. We'll get that red bastard sooner or later. That's my promise to you. I know, it's just... It's sad, I know. But life gets sad sometimes. You just have to pull through. And happiness will find you again. Now let's go. We've still got a case to solve and somebody's got to pay for this. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach.
That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like really soon. This won't hold on its own. There, now I can have higher aspirations. Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous, I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing, but the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. Unfortunately, we were too late. It's sad what happened to Millie, and Amber really lost it for a moment. I did all I could, and gave her a promise that I'd catch the man responsible. It's not much, but it's the least I can do. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Gamer City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. You might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? Police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! It just fell on the floor. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. 
My fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Oh, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! Stevie, you know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, that's so cute. Thank you, Brian. Oh, no. Now... Now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt, whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. And normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know. But that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Bat Cave. Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear, I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No, I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. He's not in, and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp and we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. I need your help, lowlifes. 
I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, we can do this. But again, what's in it for us? You better do it if you ever want to play the clarinet again. What does that even mean? What do you think? It means I'm going to confiscate your clarinet. Oh no, not the clarinet, Jimmy. Would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss, but something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight or you finally lost your mind, cause I can't see ya. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snope. You bring me proof that little Miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. There. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? There. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No. It's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Hey, the key fits. Let's see what we have in here. I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. There, now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim, uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. 
wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. All right, I guess we're going back there. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. Thank you.